Hey friends, happy Thursday. Today we have our strength workout. We have Panthers, this is one of my favorites. Okay, so what we are looking at today is 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest with three sets and one lap around the room. <laughs> it's on you. One lap around the room. Okay, so you're gonna do 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, three times before you move to the next exercise. Completing all 14 stations, okay, one lap around the room. So for our first exercise, we have the dumbbell alternating reverse lunge. Okay, so John has that weight, Melissa has her laundry detergent. They're just gonna step it back into that lunge, alternating each side. For number two, we have that Revo squat to press. Okay, again, um, Melissa is gonna get her bar, set it up. All right, so John's showing you how it's done. Get into that deep squat, pressing those knees out, and press straight overhead, keeping everything in line. Perfect. Stick your chest. It goes straight up, yep. All right, three, we have a dumbbell bent over alternating row. Okay, so alternating row. We got a hinge at the hips, slight bend those knees, chest is facing the ground and just shooting that elbow back. For number four, we have that med ball double leg curl, okay? Med ball double leg curl. So Mel, if you don't have balls at home, uh, Mel is just <laughs> gonna do hip thrusters with one leg out, <laughs> Jesus. I'm so sorry. So squeeze those glutes. <laughs> so. Okay, so um, yeah, that's your curl. Uh, so for five, we have kettlebell Romanian deadlift with a pause. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the quarantine. We go into that deadlift, squeeze those glutes, keep everything tight. All right, for number six, we have that dead ball squat. Uh, cleaned. Okay, so Melissa's going to use that laundry detergent again, come in between those knees, clinging it up, and then back down. Nice. All right, for number seven, dumbbell bench incline with a chest press and a half pulse. Okay, so we're doing a half pulse in between. One and a half. One and a half. Uh -huh. Oh, I gotcha. Half, full. Half, full. Perfect. All right, number eight, you get heel touch. Okay, so you don't need any equipment for this, just touching. Ooh, Doesn't it feel good? So crunching the outside, touching the outside of the foot. Nine, we have kettlebell alternating staggered goblet squat. It's a lot. So that back toe is at that front heel and we're gonna go down into that squat, alternating each time, dropping it low, great. All right, for number 10, barbell bicep partials. So this one's a little weird. Um, so we're going full, half, and the top. Yeah, top half, and then back into that full. Okay. Half, top half, and then back into that full. Okay. All right, for 11, we have that weighted good morning into uh, squat up phase. Okay, so Melissa's gonna put that backpack on. We're gonna go down into that good morning and then drop it down to that squat. So good morning, chest up, drop down to that squat. Perfect. For 12, we have leg raises. So getting that core work in today. <sighs> Keeping those legs straight, bringing them up from the ground to the sky. Don't let them touch. For 13, we got that barbell push-up row. Okay, so dropping that weight to the ground, go back into that push-up, and then we're gonna roll it up. Okay, so we're gonna stay down as we, we're not even gonna come all the way up, and then roll it up. For 14, we have the slide push-up knee tucks. Okay, so if you don't have anything that you can use at home for slides, you're just gonna bring it into those knee tucks and push-ups like Mel is doing. If you have slides you can do, or a towel or paper, you can do what John's doing and bringing it in into that push-up. All right, friends, we ready to go? All right, oh, that's aggressive. She's so aggressive. Jeez, hi knees. Hey, you two, I'm gonna separate you. 
I'm gonna separate you if you can't behave. High knees to butt kicks, let's go team. Let's put you in detention. Here we go, swing those hips. I'll make you go stand in the corner. What? What are they? Is that like a paddle? <laughs> Drop it down, rotating, looking good. All right, we're gonna go side to side, hands on the floor, stretching it out. Oh, I bet you it feels good. I wish I was doing it. All right, hands on the ground, going into those mountain climbers. You have 10, then we're gonna add those three push-ups. Really warming up those muscles, getting it ready. Nice. All right, roll it over on that back. Lumbar stretch, my favorite. All right, hip thrust. Squeeze those glutes. Oh, today is John's birthday. John doesn't know how old he is. He's either 64 or 65. <laughs> Rolling it on your back, split those legs, reach out. Oh. John, you look really good for 64 or 65. I just want to let you know. Fast feet, in and out. Yes, woo! I mean, look at it. Watch it shake. Jump squats, let's go. I mean, you're basically like the J-Lo male version. Like you just don't age, so weird. Go guys, part of your workout. Woo! All right, friends, we got 14 seconds and we're going right into those dumbbell alternating reverse lunge. So grab your laundry detergent, grab your weight, get ready for those reverse lunges. Here we go, in three, two, one. Just cause it's your birthday doesn't mean you can slack off. Let's go. If you want that cake, you better work it. You don't like cake? That's unfortunate. I don't really like cake either. Got it, guys. Staying with it, keeping hips underneath the shoulders. Don't let that weight drag you down. Keep control. 10 seconds here. Looking good. Here we go in three, two, one. All right, friends. You got two more sets here. Two more sets of this exercise. You want to try? Mel is very passionate about her laundry detergent. Three, two, one. 35 seconds here. Set number two. Should still feel good, still feel fresh. Dropping those legs back. You shouldn't feel fresh if you did bears yesterday because that destroyed me. Looking good, team. I like this steady. It was. I know what I'm talking about. Eight seconds. I'm always right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Today is Thursday. All right, so you get one more set at this station and you are done with this exercise for today. Okay, that's the greatest part about this workout. So you get it done and you are done, you're not coming back to it. Look at them. Grab your weights, let's go. What are you doing? Working. Having fun. Um, we don't have fun in here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I think we've all gotten a little bit crazy with this quarantine. Yep. Tell them what? <laughs> don't be a what? Tight tightrope walker. Yep. 
we go. Set it. All right, number one, scratch it off your list. You are done. Number two, Revo, squat to press. So create your bar if you need to do that. Grab your weight if you need to do that. We are going in five seconds. Squat to press. Here we go. 35 seconds. Let's go. Nice. You should let those elbows touch those knees as you go down. Touch the knees and press. Press that breath out as you press that bar up. Press those knees out. Looking good, team. You got 10 seconds here. Use those legs if you need to. Press. Here we go in three, two, one. That's a good one. I'm jealous. Jealous I'm not doing it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, team. Keep that good pace. Elbows touch those knees, John. Go down farther. Let's go. Yes. 65 never looks so good. Keep that breath going. Shoot that air out as you press that weight overhead. Deep breaths here. You got five. Three, two, one. Nice. You got one more set and you are done. One more. One more. Three, two, one. Finish this out. Get that constant pace. Nice. Looking good, team. You guys are killing it. Nice. Toes pointed forward. You got five. Push it out. In three, two, one. Set it. Number two. Mark it all. Number three. Dumbbell bent over. Alternating row. Yes, ma'am. Five seconds, come on, John. Let's go, three, two, one. Okay, yep, it, yeah. Sorry, I was about to tell you that. So turn your hands in where your palms are facing you. You're gonna shoot that arm back. Okay, keeping those legs tight, keeping that core tight. Only thing that should be moving is your arms. Alternating each side. Don't open up those shoulders. Don't open up the hips. Do not raise. You got three, two, one. Nice. So good. So good. I don't know why Melissa sweats so much. It's gross. Let's go. Nice controlled movement. Find that spot on the floor and focus in on it. Everything is in line. Head to shoulders, shoulders to hips. Slight bend in those knees. Really shooting that elbow back. Squeeze that shoulder blade. You got eight seconds here, team. All the way. Nice controlled movements in three. Two, one, set it. 35 seconds left with this workout. Yep. Keep those shoulders back. Row those shoulders. Don't do the birdie. Here we go, last set. Which just reminded me because she, uh, Melissa did that. 
make sure that when you go down into it, you row those shoulders back and really hold them back um, before you start knocking out those reps, okay? So lots of times when you have heavy weight, you let the weight pull your shoulders forward and you beat in your hunch. It's gonna really hurt your back, okay? So make sure you keep those shoulders pulled back. Keep that core tight. If you need to come out of it and adjust, get right back into it in three, two, one. Yeah, we done with it, boo. Three, done. Number four, we got that med ball, double leg curl. Okay, so grab your balls. Three, two, one, let's go. So hip thrust, we're pressing those hips up to the air. If we don't have balls at home. Or at all. Anywhere. One leg shooting it up and back down. Or if you're John, rolling out those hamstrings, keeping those hips up to the sky. Really burning it out. You got this, guys. Here we go in 10 seconds. Keep it going. Three. Two, one, set it. How's that feel, guys? Melissa said it's easy. I'll make her do another extra little set of it. We don't share balls. Three, two, one. I'm so sorry, guys. If you look at Mel, her foot that's on the ground, she has her weight on the heel and her toes pressed up to the sky, really putting all that weight on that leg. Pressing it up to the sky, switching those feet out. John is rolling it all the way out and then bringing those knees in. Really controlled hamstrings. You got seven seconds, guys. Let's go. Three, two, one. All right, you get one more set here, guys. 35 seconds of work. Three, two, one, let's go. I know those hamstrings are on fire. I get it. You just get 30 seconds left with this and you're done, okay? Yes, you can, find a way. You'll have 20 seconds to shake it out before we go into something else after this. Keep it going, do not stop. 15 seconds, yes you can. If it's burning, that's good. That means change is happening. You got three, two, one, set it. All right guys, you can put your balls away. We're going to number five. Kettlebell Romanian deadlift with the pause. Yep, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. All right, slow and controlled. We're gonna pause at the bottom and shoot those hips forward, squeeze those glutes. Keep it a flat back, slow it down. One, two, up. Perfect, guys. You got five seconds here. Three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Slow and controlled. Nice. Really focus on, as you shoot up, press those hips forward, squeeze those glutes. Okay. Flat back here. When you come over, everything comes over. Head comes over, eyes go to the floor. One. Ah, uh, pause. Ah. Uh, cheating. One, two, Three, two, one. 
Get some slackers. We're still on here, Mill. And set number three, let's go! I feel like if Mel was in my class, she'd be the kid that never reads the instructions and then and then gets mad when she does something wrong. Good lord. Ten seconds. Definitely class clown. She'd be the she'd be the one twerking on the desk. Three, two, one. Now we are done with that. Look at that. All right. So now we're going into number six, dead ball squat cleans. Oh yeah. Are you ready for this, Mel? You ready? Johnny boy, you ready? Here we go. Cleaning it up. So using that momentum to clean that weight and dropping it right down to that squat. There is no pause in there. It's one fluid motion. You got it. Dropping it down. Looking good. Clean it up, John. Let's go. You got eight seconds here. Dropping it down. Three, two, one. Set it. What? Is that heavy? There's one right there that's a little bit lighter. You gotta add 10. You gotta add 10. Here we go in three, two, one. Nice. So John has a little bit heavier weight, but you notice even with heavier weight, he's not, um, he's squatting down to pick up that weight. He's not using his back. He's keeping those shoulders over those hips and using those legs. Nice. You got 10 seconds here. Let's go. How many more sets can you get in? Push, push. We got three, two, one. Hey, Melissa. We, Melissa, we got, we got one more set. Do you? See, this is why she could be in my class. I would kick her out every day. Three, two, one. Nice job, team. Keep working. That weight should get heavier. Should get a little bit more fatigued. But you are not going to compromise that form. You're going to keep breathing in and out. Exhale as you drop down into that squat. Let's go. Eight seconds. Yes, you can. Find a way. Come on, John. You got it, buddy. One more. Three, two, one. Nice job. You killed that. Okay, so six, mark it off. Seven, dumbbell, bench, incline, chest press. You get that one and a half pause. Bench, incline, make your incline, let's go. We ain't got time for water, incline. Here we go. And 35 seconds of work, let's go. One and a half, pause. So half, full, half, Cool. Nice. Control it. That's some heavy weight, John, for doing pauses. That sucks. You got it, guys. Here we go in three, two, one. Nice job. Was that rough? Like, it's hard. They didn't get much of a break. Uh, he, yeah, he's at 91% heart rate. Here we go at three, two, one. Set number two with this. Let's go. Adding that pulse really, really makes it harder. You got this. 
Focus on those chest muscles. Should go down to about shoulder height. And then we're gonna press straight back up. Yep, don't let it drop any lower than that. Nice, you got eight seconds here. Keep moving, keep pressing. Here we go in three, two, one. Set it. You get one more set here, guys. One more set and we're gonna move on. We'll knock it off. I am. Three, two, one. They get salty because I dance behind the camera while they have their water break. Looking good, team. Control the weight. I know it's getting heavy. Keep breathing. Do not hold that breath in. As it gets heavier, you're gonna wanna hold the breath in. Do not do it. Okay, slow and control. Keep breathing. Press that breath out. You got five seconds here. Yes, you can. Come on, John. Three, two, one. Set it. Yes. What? You get eight, number eight is heel touches. So you, do you, do you though? So you need no weight here. Lay on that back. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Got it touching the outside of the foot, the heel coming around. I love how Mel likes to feel her obliques as she's doing it. And make sure that they're firing, make sure they're working. Ab check, are they still there? Still there. Three, two, one. You got two more sex, boo. You're fine. Jog. Jog. To turn, turn that way. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. 20 seconds here. Keep working. Getting that core work. Those sad abs. Oh, burning. Yes. We'll be ready for a bane suit weather when all this is over. Three, two, one. Set it. Yes. Relax. <laughs> Misty. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> 20 seconds, guys. Let's go. Push through. Oh, gosh. 10 seconds here, friends. Let's go. Work those abs. Fill them. Three, two, one. All right, eight, knock it off. Rolling on to number nine, kettlebell. Alternating staggered goblet squat. Not a lunch, people. Not a lunch. Little toe. It's a squat. Here we go. And 35 seconds of work here. Oh my gosh. Send help. Send me some new people. Nice. Like Mel said, this is not a lunge. Not a lunge. That toe should almost be right up at that front foot's heel. Feet should be shoulder width apart. Dropping it down. Keeping those shoulders over the hips. You got three, two, one. Nice. Mel, 
Mel can do that because she did not do bears yesterday. I cannot do that right now. Let's go! Nice. Keep in whatever weight you have pressed against that chest. Holding it tight to keep those shoulders back. That chest up. Looking forward. Find that spot on the wall. You got 10 seconds here, guys. Here we go in three, two, one. You got one more set of those. One more. Look at her. Stir the Kool Aid. Someone put something extra in her Kool Aid this morning. What? What happened? Who said what? Here we go in three, two, one. You want to be like John where he's always a little extra? He's doing one foot. So he's putting all that weight on that one foot, lifting that back foot off, low and controlled, really working those legs. Mel likes to go in circles just to make it a little bit more fun. So you can see all angles of her perfectness. Three, two, one. Yes, done. All right, friends, number 10, barbell bicep partials times three. The weird ones again. I like them. I like it a lot. Three, two, one, let's go. Any type of weight you can do this with. You do not have to have a barbell. So we get that full, half, top half, full. Nice. Got that little combo set. Slow and controlled. Working all parts of that bicep. Nice. You got five seconds here. Three, two, one. How those arms feel, John? I get it. Uh, or it's because he has to look at me. It is getting his heart rate up. Yep. Three, two, one. Nice. Stay with it, guys. Remember, keep those slight bend those knees. Do not lock out those legs as you do this. Half. Top half. In a full. Shoulders stay over those hips. Slow and controlled. You get five seconds here, guys. Three, two, one. Nice. Don't over grip. Make those forearms tight. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go. All right. So what John and Melissa do really well of is they hold those elbows tight to their sides. Okay, so they're really just working the bicep. They're not moving the rest of the arm. The bicep is what's doing the work here. I like it. You got 10 seconds, guys. Yes, you can. Find a way. It's getting heavy. Here we go in three, two, one. You, that was so good. That was it. All right, number 11. Waited good morning into the squat. Mel just about busted her laundry detergent. Okay, so good morning, into that squat, grab that weight, here we go. And 35 seconds of work here, let's go. Mel just put on her backpack, she's ready to go on a hike. Dropping it down to that squat. Good morning. Yep. So, slight bend those knees, bending over to that good morning. So, 
it should, you should be able to tell the difference in the good morning and the squat. So you're doing that good morning first, then raising that chest to the wall and dropping down to that squat. Yeah, that's a good way to see Drop that booty and set it. Awkward. Awkward. Very functional. Very functional. Something you can use in everyday life when you go to pick up something off the ground. Okay, when you want to use that back, you drop down to that squat and use those legs. We gotta save that back. We need it. Here we go in three, two, one. Second set right here. Nice. Good morning. Open up that chest, dropping that butt down. Nice. Slow and controlled. I like it. When you come up out of that squat, press those hips forward, squeeze those glutes. We want to work all the muscles we possibly can there in this. Don't want to waste it. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. I don't know who she is. Never seen her before. Here we go, last set here. 35 seconds. <laughs> Melissa's a Boy Scout. I'm sure they would not mind to have her in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> you got 15 seconds. Ten seconds here, guys. Keep working. How many more sets can you get in? Give me one more. Three, two, one. That's it. Gosh. All right, we're going to leg raises. She'd be like a teacher's pest. Okay, what? She'd be that one that's like right next to you all the time. Three, two, one. Yeah, squeeze. Squeeze that core. Straight legs. John's always being extra. I'm gonna add a little hip raise. Shoot those legs up if you want. Do not let the feet touch the ground. Let them hover over the ground and then pull them right back up. You have five seconds. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, Mel, okay, I see you. Always extra. Looking good, boo. John said, uh-uh. Truth. Here we go, second set right here. It's also why Mel has perfect abs. I probably would have rested too. Nice. I like it, guys. Keep that focus on the core. Feel like your hip flexors are probably on fire. Yep. 10 seconds, guys, all the way. Tuck in that stomach. Three, two, one, set it. That's gross. Means you're working hard. You look good. You're gross. Here we go, last set. Think about tucking that tummy in and pressing it through your back. Nice. Keep breathing. Exhale as you bring those legs up. Slow and controlled on the way down. You got this. 10 seconds here, guys. Almost there. Those abs, those hip flexors should be burning. Three, two, one. Mel's out. She's done. Barbell. 
push up row, barbell push up row. So make your barbell, grab your, grab your weight. Here we go in three, two, one. So we're going into that push up. That's, yeah, there you go. Push it up, coming up, and we're gonna row it. Yep, yep, that sucks. <laughs> I think that's funny. That makes me laugh. All right, so we're staying in that bent over position at all times. We're not coming all the way up. There's no need for it. You're gonna come up out of that push up and bring that bar to your chest, keeping that flat back. And set it. Mel's dead on the floor, someone help. Send help. There's really no, there's no helping her. Here we go in three, two, one. Second set right here, guys, you got this. Keep working. So coming out of that push-up, grabbing that bar, bringing it to chest. Make sure to keep those shoulders back. Do not round that back. Do not use that back to pick up that weighted bar. Okay, use those legs. That's why you stay bent over. That's why you keep that bend in the legs. You had eight seconds, guys. Find a way, push through. Three, two, one. One. I know, I'm really sad I'm not doing these with you. Those look really good. Those look like they suck, but they are awesome. Those look great. So you got one more set, friends, and then we're going into our last exercise of the day. Here we go in three, two, one. John definitely didn't know that we had another one. That sucks. All right, nice. Now let's turn it around so you can get that different angle, which is perfect. Dropping it down to that push-up, everything is flat. She's using those legs, press back. She has a wide stance on those legs for those push-ups to give her more support. And then bringing them right back in, picking up that bar, coming up with it. You get eight seconds, let's go. Give me two more, come on. One more, Mel, get down. That's my girl. Yes. All right, last station. Push up, knee tucks, yes. All the push ups. They suck. Three, two, one, get down. Come on. I love to yell at them. It's so fun. Nice job, guys. So, if you do not have that towel, you do not, do not have that paper at home to use for slides, just do what Mel's doing. Push up. Bring those knees in and back out. Really burning it out. She's working hard. John's also working hard with the slides. Tighten that core, control it. You got five, three, two, one. They're dying. You should be dying at home. I love it. It's a good strength day, guys. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. Keep that flat back. Everything's in line. Feet spread apart to support you. Mel is killing it. She has such a good pace right here and she's staying with it. She's not letting up. You got 13 seconds. Find a way to push through. Keep breathing. I hear her breathing each time as she comes up. I love it. Five seconds. Give me one more, Mel. Three, two, one. You have 35 seconds of work left and you are done for today. Come on, John, what are you gonna do? It's your birthday. Make it amazing. Finish stronger than you started in three, Two, one, let's go. Oh, look at him doing. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Staying with the guest, 20 seconds. 
They are killing it in here. You are killing it at home. You're 13 seconds away from being done. 10 seconds, go, push, push. What do you got left? Let's go. How many can you get in? Here we go. In three, two, one. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Thank John, Dad, on his birthday. Melissa, also Dad, on John's birthday. Awesome job. Happy birthday, John. I love it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right, great job today, team. So happy that you were able to join us and do Panthers with us. It was a great workout. John and Melissa did an amazing job. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you continue to do the workouts each day so that you're ready when we're ready to open back up and you come in here stronger and better. We miss you so much. Keep posting, keep, has uh, keep hashtagging, and we hopefully will see you soon. We love and miss you guys. Bye.